guys, it's Reno. Today's video, I'm going to talk about my bike jeans because I recently got a new pair and I thought instead of just showing one, might as well just show all three pairs um, and let you know what I think about them, what I like about them, what I maybe don't like about them. It's not really a review as such. It's more like just kind of my opinion. I am filming outside, so there will be a lot of background noise that I can't really do much about. So I'm sorry about that if it's annoying and it is a bit sunny, so if I get a bit squinty, that's why. So yeah, I thought I might as well just start with the first ever pair of jeans I got, which I didn't actually buy. They're actually given to me by a friend. She didn't really wear them anymore, didn't really want them anymore. So she thought, oh, I think they'll fit you. Do you want to try them? I tried them on and they did actually fit. So they are the Dragon Jeans, the Slicks ones. They are very skinny, skinny jeans. Um, they are quite tight as well. So they do eventually stretch to fit you, but they are still quite tight. Um, the only things that I don't really like about these jeans is that they are low rise. Um, so I feel like if I'm wearing my bike jacket and I'm wearing the jeans, if I have a crash and my bike jacket goes up, then my stomach is just gonna be exposed. My hip is kind of gonna be exposed. So belly button is here, they go down to here. You can see the gap. My hips are literally just here, which is kind of a thing I don't like. And there's not a lot of armor with them either. Where the jeans are so tight, they just, it's almost impossible to wear knee armor and those jeans at the same time. So I actually bought these, which are Knox knee armor. So you're supposed to kind of wear them under trousers. So if you have like a pair of bike jeans, or even if you wear normal jeans, which I wouldn't recommend, you can kind of wear them underneath. But what, what I started doing, because they didn't fit underneath, is I started wearing them over. <laughs> so it looked like I had knee pads on, which was quite funny. But they, they worked, They're, it's, it's good armor, it's very strong. Um, and the thing that I do like about it is that when you put it on, on your leg, you put your leg into it, so it's like a little, I don't really know what to call it, but you just put your leg into it and then you can strap this Velcro all the way around it. So you it, you can make it as secure as you want on your leg. Um, so, you know, if you want to wear them under something, you can do. If you want to wear them over something, you can do. I started not caring much about it, so I just wore them over. Um, so I used to do that when I was riding in those jeans. The other things that I'm not sure that I did like much about them is when they're so tight, it is hard to kind of get your leg over the bike and get onto it. And also when you're riding, I found that they kind of pressed into my um, stomach a little bit because obviously they're low rise, they're tight. But the nice thing about them is they are tight. So they look nice, um, they show off your body. And also they kind of look a little bit like leather because they've kind of got a bit of a, a, a water resistant type finish on them. It makes them a little bit look a bit plasticky in a way, but in a good way. So if you look, you've kind of got this kind of texture on them, which I don't know if you can really tell, but there we go. So they kind of look like they're leather, but they are actually denim. And here's the back. They are quite long jeans as well. I mean, these were gifted to me, so they are actually my size, which I'm a size eight. I'm relatively slim. So when it comes to fitting into things, it's kind of easy for me because of my shape and because of my size. But what is hard is finding something that isn't too long in the leg because I've only got a size, I've got a 28 inch inseam, not a 32 or a 30 like most people. So with these jeans, they are a regular size. The leg is quite long, but for bike jeans, that's actually good because it means that you've got more protection on your ankles. You can kind of put them over boots or you can kind of have them under. And these are a super skinny fit, so I don't think you could have them over boots, but you can definitely put them under. Um, so no matter what you're really wearing, they'll still be able to protect you anyway. Um, they do actually have Kevlar in them. So it's lined in the seat, only really covers the butt and nowhere else. There's a tiny bit on the outside leg and also on the knees. So you are protected by Kevlar and the jeans, where they kind of feel a little bit like they could be leathery, it makes you feel like they are a bit more protective in just mentally, I guess. Um, but yeah, I do like them. I feel like they look nice. They are nice to wear out if you want to wear something tight and maybe you want to go for that kind of look. And you can wear those jeans with normal bike boots or you can even wear them with boots that are a little bit more casual and where they're black they'll probably match your leather and anything else that you might be wearing but they don't have a zip on the back so you can't you can't zip them to your leathers um, and just bear in mind that they are low rise they're not high waisted so if you wear a longer jacket with them like i'll wear my um black and gold 
Frank Thomas Lady Rider jacket um, because the only jacket I have that I can wear without trousers because uh, my Dionese ones have a zip all the way around but it is short so my Dionese ones come here but my other jacket goes down to there so it gives me a little bit more protection even though it might go up if I crash it's still gonna give me more protection than the other one and it won't look dumb <laughs> because if you imagine wearing a bike jacket that ends here and then wearing jeans that end there just doesn't look right. <laughs> I find in the hot weather in the summer when you're walking around in them they do get quite hot because they are black so they'll soak up the sun but looks wise they look quite nice so that's kind of how I feel about those ones uh, so what I ended up doing was I ended up trying to look for another pair of bike jeans that were similar that looked nice try to find some that looked maybe a little bit more like normal jeans that I wear casually um, like if I'm meeting a friend maybe I can wear those jeans I don't have to change when I go out or have to wear leather and get too hot but also find some that are going to be protective because I found looking at jeans if I want a pair of jeans that look nice and have a lot of protection they're really expensive and I didn't want to pay loads and loads of money whereas you know like with Spicy wearing his rock jeans they are they look nice and they are protective and they're cheap but for women if you want that all three things uh bumblebee please trying to film um then you have to spend a lot more money so i tried to look around to see if i could find anything that was cheaper that would still look good and i managed to actually find a pair on ebay believe it or not and they are actually unbranded so they don't actually have a brand but they simply just say kevlar jeans and uh, on the inside it just says quality my bike clothing so they're not really branded by anyone I don't think but they are very cheap they're only about 50 quid <laughs> and you can choose what size you want them to come in and you can choose what inseam you want so I managed to um, choose my exact waist size which is 26 inches and an inseam of 28 which is mine so when I got them I was kind of excited to see whether they would fit and they did fit perfectly so I was really happy about that and they look nice they kind of look a little bit they do look more like bike jeans than normal jeans but you can kind of get away with wearing them casually the good thing about them is they are kevlar lined more than the um, dragon jeans actually so on the inside that they are lined in the seat all the way so you've got all of this kevlar up to here which will cover all of your butt um, and then they've got Kevlar, all this white stuff just underneath it is where the Kevlar is so it's all in the leg and it's all in the knee as well um, but they put an extra thing over the top of it so that it doesn't kind of I don't know stick to you I guess I'm not sure it does come with knee and hip armor which the dragon jeans don't have uh, you can't really wear hip armor with the dragon jeans unless you buy some that you can wear on your waist or something and the knee armor it doesn't really work unless you've got some you can wear on the outside so these were good because they came with armor knee and hip armor which is what i wanted to be fully protected and they got more kevlar in the other ones now these do feel a bit softer than the dragon jeans so i kind of question how well they'll do in a crash and obviously they are only like 50 quid so it's a bit a bit questionable but they still look nice um and they do look a little bit more like normalish jeans this is kind of what they look like there we go and this is the back and you can get them in blue or grey I chose the blue ones because I don't really wear blue jeans that often and they are a bit thicker when you wear them as well so in the sun you do get quite warm in them and in the winter actually because I did have these over winter they are quite warm whether I wore them or whether I wore my leathers I was still quite warm either way um, but if I wear my leathers I can wear obviously my skinny jeans underneath them and then stay extra warm but with those they still worked well and in the summer they were still okay but if you're walking around a lot you might get a little bit sweaty in them um, but they're good very casual look so nice if you're just out riding you just want to get a bit more air to your legs or if you're going to see a friend uh, out for lunch or something and you just want to wear something casual I think that'll work for that and this is what they look like with normal bike boots uh, if you wanted to go for that look either these are also high-waisted so belly buttons here jeans end there so you can wear them on their own like this and t-shirt over or even if you wanted to you could tuck it in if you wanted that kind of look instead and the jean itself comes again it can actually go to my heel but it easily goes there at the end of my ankle this is the armour that came with it, so we've got the hip armour 
which is, uh, I don't really know who it's by, but if I find out, I'll put it on the screen. Um, and also the knee armor. So it came with those. And you just fit that on the inside um, of the jeans. So, so when I had them apart earlier and you had the white seam, there's a little Velcro bit you can un-Velcro, stick the armor in there, Velcro it back up. And then when you turn them inside out, you've got jeans, but the armor's inside. Um, and they do fit on my knees quite well. Uh, obviously the jeans are fit to my exact size, so they do fit and the knee armor sits in the right place. But obviously if you're out for a long time and you're walking loads, it might get uncomfortable. You can't really take the knee armor out unless you take the jeans off or somehow <laughs> shove your hand down your leg or something. Um, if you've got a bathroom, you can just go to and take them off and then take the armor out and then just put them in your bag or something. You could do that. It's quite easy to do. So yeah, I'm quite happy with those jeans to be fair. They were kind of like my favorite because they were cheap. Um, didn't have to spend a lot and also they came with all the armour, all the protection that I was looking for. But I ended up having a little look um, at some other jeans just randomly because I thought oh, I wonder if there are any other jeans I could buy. Maybe then I've got two options, I can either wear these ones or I can wear these ones and change up my outfit a bit. Because as I said before, I'm a bit girly, I like to look nice when I'm riding but also I like to be protected. I value protection more over looks so I wouldn't buy a pair of jeans that look nice if they have no protection because if I crash, I want to be protected. Same with bike jackets, same with anything else, and shoes as well. So yeah, I was kind of just browsing one day and I saw this pair of jeans, I thought, oh, they kind of look a bit nice. And I was like, hmm. It was, it was actually mostly an, an impulse buy because they were obviously more expensive than the um, other jeans I got, because the other ones were like 50 quid. But these were about 140, 150, somewhere in that. Um, but they look nice, they look like normal jeans and when I got them and tried them on I was so surprised because they actually felt like I was wearing normal jeans and that was really weird because the other ones, they feel bulky, they feel like bike jeans, you know, they got a bit of a thickness to them um, and the other ones just feel really soft even though it's got, you know, Kojura denim and isn't just normal denim, it is actually bike jean still feel really soft and feel like normal jeans and they are also water resistant which is quite interesting like the slicks they're water resistant as well so if it's raining and i'm in them I tend not to really get wet whereas the um the 50 quid ones actually in the rain they're not too bad i don't really get soaked in them but you do kind of get wet and the other ones i haven't really tried yet because they're new and i've not had them for that long um but they're my favorite so far because over summer and these really hot days they've been so cooling because they're a bit thinner and more breathable than the other jeans I've got so over this summer they've been brilliant for that for riding I've felt so so cool in them and at the moment I'm just wearing them all the time when I'm riding um, some days I'll still wear my other um, leathers because I'm you know I ride to work so I'll wear my work stuff under that but um, there are some days that I've actually ridden to work in the jeans been at work all day in the jeans and been absolutely fine because they're so comfy to wear they just feel like a normal comfy jean and the good thing that I also like about them is the knee armour um, is on the outside so basically there's a really tiny little hidden zip on the inside of the leg that you can unzip put the knee armour in take the knee armour out zip it back up do whatever you want with it and it's a lot easier to take off and put on so if you let's say you're meeting a friend or you're going to work for example if you ride with those jeans there you can easily take your knee armour out zip your jeans up and it's almost as if you're just wearing normal jeans and then you haven't got your knee armour, you know, <laughs> rubbing on your knee all day. And um, they do come with knee armour and actually because they're from Knox, they do come with Knox armour in a cute little bag like this. And the armour is quite interesting because it's very, very flexible and very squidgeable. So this is one of the hip ones. So it's very, very flexible and squidgeable. You don't have to put a lot of effort into it, but if you hit it, it kind of like hardens up. The interesting thing about these is they'll tell you if it's for the left or the right hip. So you put it in the right way because it goes in uh, sideways in the uh, hip armor pocket. So you literally just open it up and slide it in, whether it's that way or that way, I don't know at the moment because they're inside out. The only bad thing about it is that um, because the knee armor is put in on the outside sometimes it can move around so I find that if I'm got the jeans on and I've got the knee armor in and I'm sat down and then I stand up walk around and sit down again if I'm wearing them at work and I don't take the knee armor out because I did a test to see what it was like and it, it was comfy enough then when you 
go to go back on your bike, the knee arm has moved and it might not be directly on your knee, it might be sort of over here or over there and then I feel if part of my knee's exposed, it's not really gonna be as safe, so then you kind of adjust it. But it's, it's really easy to adjust, so it's not really that much of a bad point, to be fair. But this is what they look like. They are from Knox, which I thought was interesting. But they are obviously designed by women for women, um, so they do look like normal normal jeans. Again, they are kind of like a skinny-ish, straight-ish, skinny-ish fit, because that's kind of what I like. I don't like the big bulky, flared out or boot cut jeans, they're not my style, so I prefer to wear something skinny that I would normally wear off the bike. Um, this is what it looks like in the back. And on the leg, so basically the knee armour goes on the outside, it's actually got knee armour in it at the moment. You can't really see it, but if you look, there is a tiny little zip, and if you unzip it, it opens it up, and then the knee armour is inside. And this is what the knee armour looks like as well, so again, very flexible, like really, really, really squidgeable. You could literally roll it into a little ball. And it just bounces back into shape. It's very, very solid. So that's what I like about it, because Knox do, in my opinion, do good armour. But it was also interesting because it came with a little... Um, mini little uh, keychain thing so you can put your keys on it or whatever you want on it and also this is what I also love about it the pockets are so deep even the back pockets are really deep now with ladies jeans as a norm pockets are really small I mean if I compare them to the front pockets on this one these ones only really go to about here. These ones go all the way down. So yeah, you've got loads of pocket space, which is something that we never have in in bike in normal jeans anyway. So that is also a good point that I love about them as well. Uh, the only thing, all three of these jeans don't have a zip to zip up to your jacket, but the uh, ones that got off eBay and the Knox ones are high-waisted so even though the jacket doesn't zip up to them you can still feel comfortable that if you do crash and your jacket rises your hips are still going to be covered up to your waist in the jeans because they do sit there nicely they're they're not likely to go be pulled down either um, and the Knox ones I couldn't get the correct inseam the lowest I could get was a 30 but it still works because you know it gives me a tiny bit more extra um, leg kind of protect my ankle a bit more you know when I'm riding or whatever so that's not too bad but same again got it in a 26 and it fits me perfectly in the waist so as long as you know your waist size and your inseam you can't really go wrong with these ones they have actually got the hip armor in at the moment put all the armor in so this is what it looks like put all the armor in and the uh, Kevlar lining in these jeans is all through all through this bit all through this bit all through this bit and all through this bit so it's all all the black bits you saw on the inside that's all kevlar lined underneath but it's got a seam over the top of it which actually makes it so much easier to get on and off because the kevlar and the jean doesn't then stick to you when it's hot it's easier to take them off the only annoying thing is this bit here so there's a bit of extra fabric that isn't in this bit because if you pull it up it won't um, change it but it's in this bit so when you pull it down it goes away but I think what that is, is gives you extra space so when you get on the bike, you've got more, so much more flexibility in these than the other ones. It's a lot easier to get on the bike. And also again, you can either wear this t-shirt down, or if you want, if you're into that style, then you can tuck it in. And that's what it looks like if the t-shirt is in. You can either wear with casual boots, and then you kind of look like you're wearing a normal outfit. Um, or you can wear but no biker boots and this is what it looks like with them or again you can wear your bike jacket this is what it looks like with the bike jacket on very casual and again you can just take this off when you arrive at your destination and then again just you like you're wearing a normal outfit so that's all the bike jeans. I hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> 
I hope it was interesting or somewhat informative or or maybe helped you have a look to see whether these jeans might look all right on you or fit you. If you like this kind of video and you want to see more of them, let me know and I'll do more. Maybe I'll show you all my gear. But whatever, if you want anything else similar to this, let me know um, and I'll see what I can do. But yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye. Five percent off the rider team dot com. <laughs> Okay.